Ugara town, in Ethiopia's local government area, Delta State, was agog as PDP member and national secretary of Awumutuwe political pressure group, Comrade Milton Odiri Saboje, tied the knot with his heart of blessing. The ceremony, which took place in Ogara town, saw the presence of several political top shots, including Head of Finance and Administration in Desopadek, Honorable Barrister Chief John Obukoko Nani, the Awomutuwewe of Ijere Kingdom, Ethiopia's local government chairman, Honorable Nelson Owoso, former Ethiopia's chairman, Honorable Solomon Goli, Queen of Ogara Kingdom, Her Royal Majesty Queen Eshemita, Chief London Ohofasa Akpanoko, Chief Precious Ajaino, Chief William Nani, Chief Duncan Egwere, Honorable Jude Fregene, Honorable Matthew Rikefe Agbroko, Ethiopia's councillors, members of Awomitwe Political Forum, headed by National Coordinator Engineer Oshiko Beburu, patrons Comrade Johnson Okbo, and SSA on political matters to the Delta State Governor, Chief Wellington Oyibo JP, and more. The couples shared a lovely time as the crowd enjoyed musical interlude during the event. The dignitaries present, led by the Ethiopia's boss, Honorable Nelson Owoso, sent out their goodwill messages to Comrade Milton and his wife, rendering them advice while praying for fruitfulness in their marriage. Marriage is an institution, and um, there are a lot to learn. I so we should endeavor to learn some of those things he need to learn for his marriage to last. And I wish him success in his marriage. Yes, uh, I want to thank the Almighty God for uh, making today a blessed day that my friend, my brother, my political brother, uh, Comrade Mason Sagbode uh, and his wife, and they are getting married today. Uh, it's a thing of joy uh, for him to be coming to the manhood. I really want to encourage him to be steadfast. Uh, marriage is an institution that has to do with patience, understanding, and uh, prayers. So I want to advise him to be more prayerful, he and his wife, and uh, pray to God to bless them uh, beyond bounds. Because marriages, as you say, knows no bound in terms of blessings. I want to say God to bless them with children, uh, words, words of knowledge, understanding, and they above all, long life and prosperity. It's a thing of joy that is getting married today. Uh, the man has stayed quite long as a bachelor. He was an eligible bachelor at a point. He became chief bachelor, principal bachelor. He was almost becoming a bachelor when we said, no, boy, you have to come and join us. I will thank God uh, this year he met his heart drop and uh, the rest you can see. It's my prayer that uh, God Almighty will bless their union and uh, the blessings of marriage will follow. On the 21st of June, 2020, I celebrated my housewarming and birthday. I can tell you that that is exactly where the couple you see today met themselves for the first time. They discuss, they talk to each other, and the result is what you are seeing today. I want to specially thank the Almighty God for using my party, myself, my birthday party and my housewarming to give birth to another marriage. I do believe and I pray that the blessings and grace of God upon my life should also flow to them. My advice to them is that love may take you to the altar, but understanding will sustain the marriage. No man is perfect. No woman is perfect. Everyone has his, his past. Everyone has his weak side. But with understanding, with understanding, the two of them will go to places. Sakoje is a good boy and he's a nice person. He's a loyal boy to me. And I'm grateful to God that he's getting married today. That's my greatest joy to me. I will, to the wife, most especially, not for the men, not for the man, sorry. The man is a generous man. For her to sustain a marriage, she has to be very patient, tolerant, 
after the girl. My advice to him is just new in marriage, and uh, I pray that God should guide him and his wife to enable them to follow up the good fruit of the marriage to follow them. Because after marriage, there is a blessing that follows marriage. My prayer for them is for God to guide them and for them to get the good fruit of their labor to enable them to arrive where in Jesus' name. Being a, a married man of over 20 years experience, I know that there is no knowledge of marriage that you can acquire from the higher institution. Uh, my advice to them is for them to see marriage as a learning process, to always learn to forgive each other, because uh, they are bound to be quarrel one of these days. They should learn to forgive each other and also know that even God himself has also had judged marriage that uh, during the process of marriage, that is why they always talk about for better and for worse. I want to welcome him to marital wood. I want to tell him that uh, marriage is a blessing from God and uh, I wish him well. I hope that uh, he understands his role as a husband to the wife. Uh, soon as he's going to be a father to kids as well. I wish him well. Today is a great day to Mr. Sagoje and his family alive. Sagoje is a secretary general of of our okay. political forum to work with my boss as well. Today is a great day to run. Anything at all, I always give it glory to God. Today we have a good weather. We also package here and his family and his lovely wife. We start with my boss. Everybody was represented. The marriage was coming well. We give glory to God. Um, I think it's been very splendid and outstandingly exceptional. And besides, you can see the crowd and the peasants all around. The personality, the who is doing, who is doing, who, who is doing society. And then you see virtually the big wigs in town, all for the sake of uh, Sagoje Milton. That's to tell you that Sagoje Milton is one whose antecedents spread beyond the shores of his locality. He has proven himself, he has shown himself to be an exceptional person, and that you can see. I'm Patrick Smoot, the political minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's just about my name. Yeah, Ojiri Milti, Sagoje is my very good friend. He's my best man. I will call him my best friend, like I used to say. Um, I'm so happy today that he has tried enough uh, getting married to his beautiful wife. My advice to him, now that he's, uh, he's not a man, you know, so uh, my advice and prayer for him is going to go forward. Uh, more money, more connection, more children standing the table as he wishes. You understand? So all the good things that he wants and his wife wants, my, my prayer for him. Finally, parents of the groom, Chief and Mrs. Saboje, also spoke to Rero TV, thanking everyone for coming on behalf of their children and rendered advice to the couple. He's a great son. And I believe he will go, 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 go up, move up in his political career. Uh, experience is marriage. No matter your experience, you are in, in marriage. You cannot graduate from that institution. That is a part of life. But what you require is endurance, forbearance, the ability to forgive and forget. And most importantly, is to say sorry when you do not even cause the problem. That is the only way to have a successful home. My son Nathan is very humble, very jovial, he's down to earth. My advice to him and his wife is to love, that they should not keep anything within them. They should try to forget, to forgive each other, because forgiveness is the bedrock of marriage.